garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to repair a transmission cooler line uh, where it connects into your radiator, and that would be the end that has the threaded, um, the, the, uh, the threaded bolt that screws into there. Uh, sometimes those can fail, they can get crimped, which is what we're dealing with today. So I'm going to show you how you can repair that and replace that and get that corrected. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see there right about there you can see right there where it goes into the radiator um, it's a little bit bent right there there's a slight leak coming out so what we're going to do is replace that and then I just go ahead and use like a compression fitting to um, add a new new line and a new input to stop the leak right there so there it is Okay, you can see we're starting to get that transmission cooler line out. A little bit of transmission fluid is coming out, so you want to make sure you have something underneath to catch that. Because that's going to get a little bit harder. Okay. So we have the uh, transmission line removed from the back of the radiator. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use a pipe cutting tool and go ahead and cut this. And then we'll use a compression fitting and then we will go ahead then and connect um, a, new, a new line that will go in without the leak. And then that'll solve our problem. Here's the piece we cut off, and you can see the bend right there. That's where the issue was. It was kind of crimped right there and leaking a little bit. So let's go ahead and get the new one and uh, reattach it. Okay, to fix this, we went ahead and we picked up a new line here. Make sure that you have the right uh, thread and size for this, um, for this insert uh, threaded bolt that goes into the radiator. That way it'll fit. So we have that, so we're going to go ahead and Use a pipe cutting tool. We're going to cut this at approximately the same length as that piece. So let's get that on there. Get that adjusted. And then we'll go ahead and cut that off. What I'm going to do instead of trying to bend this, because without the proper um, pipe bending tool, it's going to wind up collapsing in on itself and getting crimped. So what I've done is I've cut it down to a small enough size, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put it into the hose, and then we'll go ahead and uh, use the hose clamps, and then we'll, we'll make the bend with that. Now you wanna make sure that if you are gonna use hose, that you're using a hose that is actually rated for, for fluid. This particular one is made for, for, the, um, for the fuel injector, so it's made for pressure, it's made for fluid, so that will work. Normally I'm not a big fan of using hose, I'd rather just use a, um, uh, compression fitting with a line. Uh, I wasn't able to get that and and I need to get this completed today so I'm just going to use this hose and this vehicle is not being used on a regular basis so it's not going to have a, a lot of use so this should be fine. Okay so now we're going to go ahead and thread that in right there Then we're going to come back with the wrench, tighten that, but basically what this is going to do now is we're going to loop it to connect up to here and then have it going up, but we're going to straighten that in, feed that all the way up so that way it doesn't crimp and then you'll have your, your angle right here. Take the wrench. Okay, there's the transmission line, uh, the cooler line right here. Um, this is where we cut it. We have the clamps there nice and secure, then it's coming down here. You've got the bend nice and 
nice and loose so that way it's not um, crimping or anything and then going in there everything is tight you don't want to over tighten that but you do want it tight and then we have the uh, hose clamps nice and secure on this piece here so let's go ahead and try it and make sure there's no leaks all right, well that pretty much wraps it up for today on how to fix a damaged uh, transmission cooler line. Uh, please send any questions, any comments, I would love to hear from you. Um, as always, I appreciate all of your support. So if you can like this video, please subscribe to this channel. I'm constantly posting new videos. I try to do at least one or two a week. Um, it, I would really appreciate your support and we'll see you next time.